Good morning from Indonesia. How are you guys today? Hi. Hi. Good afternoon from Los Angeles. Do you have any most memorable uh, scene to shoot at the film? Yeah, I mean, I um, there were several rooms that had moments where um, I, I felt really lucky to be part of that film. Um, but I mean, the subway was fun as a group effort. I liked when the crab shack had the furniture going everywhere. Even like playing on like the lighthouse when you get to like sort of climb up a ladder that's you know at the top of the room. Um, just little things like that make it really real for myself. My favorites has to be the subway because um, it was such a uh, a beautiful set that they had made where I mean they had completely uh, remodeled and retooled the entire New York subway and it was unbelievable just seeing such a recreation and um, feeling that we were actually there on the Q train um, right there on the canal stop in New York I mean it almost uh, confused me because we were all the way in South Africa so they did their job in real life, if you guys had to actually escape the rooms in the film, do you think you guys would actually be able to escape and survive? Absolutely not. <laughs> I would try my best. On the subway. Yeah, I would try my best, but um, at the end of the day, I would just try to put a hole in something so I could uh, get out. Are you guys into puzzles and riddles though in real life? Yeah, it's, it's a very fun thing to uh, be a part of. And I think that that's kind of what's great about the film too, is uh, this is a puzzle and riddle and uh, the audience gets to kind of figure it out along the way. In this movie, it, the game expands. It's not just about the escape rooms. It's your whole life is a puzzle. Um, and I thought that was something, you know, all of us coming out of a pandemic, where we feel like we don't have control over our lives, you know? And I thought that was a really creepy thing to kind of lean into. I, I don't understand. We're still in the game. Oh, no, no, no. Before Escape Room, we were also known to direct um, other thriller and horror movies. Can you share with us why are you interested in this genre in particular? I'm just a horrible person. No, I, I, I really just enjoy I enjoy scaring. I enjoy scaring people. You know, there's something fun about watching people hold their breath and uh, and be really. You know, horror movies manipulate the audience. You know, we use sound, we use vision, we use um, we use storytelling in ways. We, we you know we make you look over here, but then the monster jumps out over here. So it's it's really the clo as close as you get to being a magician as a filmmaker. You know, um, and so I, I enjoy that part of it very much. So some of our audience at Narasi, uh, they are content creators. They also like to make films and be present in front of the camera. Do you have any tips for them on how to be able to stand out as creative workers? Well, you know, I mean, as long as you uh, stick to your story, always have something uh, different and innovative that you want to create. But, um, you know, don't just uh, fit the fashions of what everybody wants. Um, tell it your unique story and, uh, you know, hold your guns and just be uh, be uh, very um, resilient and hopefully, um, you know, you'll accomplish great things. I also think, you know, with the amount of platforms that are available today, um, I mean, there's a movie beat coming out in the States right now about a girl who sent 150 tweets out in one night. And there was like a, uh, I mean, that's not even a script, that's just 150 tweets. And <laughs> there was a bidding war for her story. So I think there's a plethora of ways to get your story out there too, if you have something to say. Why should your Indonesian fans watch the sequel of Escape Room? Because if you like the first one, you're gonna love the second one. It's so much bigger and so much more expansive. We got um, some original characters, myself and Taylor Russell, Ben and Zoe are back. And uh, we got a colorful new uh, cast and they are all great, great actors. And so we've got great performances. We've got high octane action. And um, it's gonna be great to just come back to the theater and experience it with friends and family. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.